Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a good morning. It is currently pouring outside, so yeah, that's um how the end of the new year is going to finish, I guess. <laughs> so, I wanted to film my 2023 lineup. Um yeah, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work for me. I hope. <laughs> I'm like 65% sure um, I've like tried other planners that unfortunately didn't work for me and just with how my lifestyle is and where I prefer to write or plan um, I think this is gonna be what's gonna be for me for 2023 um, I experimented a lot this year with different sizes with rings mostly and it was fun but for what I prefer I like book bound so this is my book bound lineup that's my lineup so all right without further ado I'll, I'll stop talking about that now so this is my undyed VDS um, codex it's the standard week's size. It has square corners, a chunky clasp, and then the inside has nomad pockets. And I actually like sold my black one two weeks ago. And so I have to wait for my replacement, which is going to be different customizations than this one, but it's also going to be a standard codex. Um, here in my pockets, I have this card from Cloth and Paper, this little die cut from Sweet Freckle Designs, a card, um, planner card from Laminate from Aloe's Creative Corner. On the back of that, peeking through here, is a freebie from Maria Plans. It's the, um, what is it? Love Languages? Oh, I just moved it. And I printed it like on um, cardstock. And I just took it back here. <clears throat> and then I have my pen pin from Sweet Freckle Designs. Just some more deco here. Um, this one is... I think from Maria Plants as well, and this one is a freebie from, oh my goodness, I can't think of her YouTube, she's not really that active anymore, I mean on Instagram, I can't remember her handle, and then I just have this little card that I got from my latest Sterling Ink order. This one is a freebie from Paper Planner Bliss. I love all of her stickers. And this one was from my Moody uh, Cats design, which I actually have to use this in my, um, I don't have to, I want to use it in my um, Memory Keeper. And then on this side, I just have a picture of my boys on Easter last year. Yeah, this is, I think this is last year. Or it could be this year, I don't remember. Um, and then the card in front, the Purpose Feels Passion, is from Gracie Edits. That I do have a code with her. It's Samantha10. Um, she makes dividers. Actually, let me show you guys the divider. Oh, I don't have it here. But she makes um, dividers, actually. I'll show you in my personal planner because I forgot I also have my personal planner here in my lineup. And then at the top here is a die cut from Sweet Freckle Designs. And then another um, sticker sheet from Paper Planner Bliss of the Holidays. And I have an Ollie clip here because on this side I have this little die cut from also Sweet Freckle Designs. I love her die cuts. Um, this is from Paper Planner Bliss and a picture of me and my fiance. Clearly you can see like the shops that I <laughs> typically um, have shopped at. I used to PR for her so that's why I have um, you know various stickers of hers. 
and then this little um, vellum is from um, GG Plannery. I actually got this as a freebie with one of my orders. A lot of people ask about it and I absolutely love it. So I moved it from my last planner that I was going to use which was a Mega. And I moved it to this one which is the regular weeks. And it's the... Oh, it's the bird one with the boots and stuff. I can't remember the name of it. It's like the white hardcover book. So that's the one that I decided to go for just because Mega was a little too big for me. I don't daily plan. I do have notes here and there, but I figure that I could just use sticky notes instead. I have a stack of sticky notes. I love sticky notes and I love that I could just throw them away and I don't need to worry about it because I'm not one to hang on to my notes unless it's like my list. Um, I typically don't need my notes so that is why I decided to just switch back to a regular weeks and then here I haven't really decoed anything just yet um, I just added this tip in of holidays it's a freebie from Maria plans I'm so glad that she made it in week size because many of her freebies aren't in week size because she just started making them um, and then on the back of that I just have like my son's school schedule then on this tracker page I track my menstrual cycle which I do the fertility awareness method I don't take birth control and this is how I track um, my period so I created my own codes um, little icons and I printed them on clear transparent um, little page flags and I printed on them then this is my first monthly that I did um, this month but I'm gonna be moving my trackers to the back of the page um, the back of the notes I mean at the back where the notes pages are so I'll show you guys that and then um, these are these gold brass tags up here and I have two here are from Midori they come in like a pack of I don't know I think there's like eight in there then I pre-planned here for January already I need to write down the wedding um, that I have and now thinking about it again I have to also buy a dress so that's gonna be on my list in the next few weeks and then I added some stickers here. This one's from Paper Planner Bliss. And these, I, and this one is from her as well. But this one, this one, and the script is from, oh, and this one is from Papery Planning, the little payday. I just like how minimal they look. I kept this month really simple. I'm trying to do minimal, clean looking, but obviously from my December it was like super kind of messy um, so I'm trying to keep it organized and clean and try not to overdo it because that's what I want my um, memory keeper to be like memory keeper is gonna be way more stickers and a bunch of different color pens and highlights and different scripts and all of that so I wanted to keep my um, planner very minimal and crisp. This is one of those um, holiday stickers from Paper Planner Bliss that's in the front, these ones. And I actually had one here, but it got covered when I put the <laughs> transfer stickers. I really like these transfer stickers. I ordered them from, um, I'm so sorry I keep saying um a lot. I just started realizing that. I ordered it from Kubo and Lucy. So then we go into my weekly, which I made the mistake of skipping a week, which is why if you see here, I like moved, I like rewrote the <laughs> numbers. This was supposed to be November and I back planned incorrectly, but I said oh well like it is what it is YOLO and uh, or what do they say in travelers wabi sabi yeah that's what I said here and this was kind of an imitation of 
how I had it set up in my other weeks, the Mega, that I put aside. The thicker uh, headers here are from my Toysby, which is a medium nib, and I actually really like the pen. It's a little bit heavy, but I like that it holds so much ink. However, the medium nib is a little bit too thick for everyday writing, but I do like it for script or headers, so that's what I'm going to plan on using it for. This header is, these headers are also from that pen, the medium nib. And this one I kept it super simple with just a washi at the bottom that I found at Daiso. This is the week that was supposed to be this week and I completely messed up. Like somehow I missed, like I don't know if I, I think I thought this page was the current week and that's why I back planned like in the previous two weeks not realizing the dates. <laughs> and yeah, so I just wrote here this page was meant to be blank because I see like there's like stamps I need to get a stamp for that because sometimes I like completely just mess up so then this is last week which most of these stickers are actually all of these stickers are from Paper Planner Bliss I loved her holiday stickers they were so cute as well as this little payday one is from her and all of this oh and the script one is from her as well but all of this writing, this pen, is the medium Twisby. So it does look pretty heavy. It doesn't look bad, but as you can see, some of the parts smeared because I would write, you know, thinking it was okay, and then I would write something up here, and my hand or my clothes would smear it because it was still wet. So that is why I decided not to use that as my everyday carry. I might try a fine, but I actually got a platinum fine that I want to try, so I'm going to try that in this video. And then this is the current week, which I absolutely loved how it looked with the contrast of my undyed. I was like obsessed. Um, this sticker is from Sweet Freckle Design, The Day Off. These little icons are from paper plan Papery Planning as well as this. And the little, um, what is it, a quote. This top sticker here is from Sterling Ink. I'm sure everyone knows of her shop now. And my headers here are from Paper Planner Bliss. The little dots are from her freebie. And I really liked this flam Family Time sticker, which is from Papery Planning as well. And it came in uh, like a holiday freebie sheet I think for her holiday one I haven't planned next week yet I just put my little notes um, this day off again is from sweet freckled designs then we get to my notes pages which I ended up um, gluing down two dashboards this is from ash plans and this one is from my minimal planner and I did glue them down and then I used like clear scotch tape to kind of adhere the inside because it was kind of lifting my glue isn't the best so if anyone has recommended glue the one that i have is this what is it kokuyo oh, glue it's not even is it kokuyo i'm not sure if it's kokuyo but it's like the glue stick it's blue this one but it's not the best in my opinion so if anyone has you know any ideas on what glue to use for you know, gluing things down, let me know. Then this dashboard here is from Mod Mindset. She's a new shop. You should check her out. She's in, I want to say Dubai. I can't believe it came all the way from Dubai. That's so cool. And it's actually like a full-on sticker dashboard. And I loved that because gluing it in was like difficult. And sometimes depending... It can leave like wrinkles and stuff so I love that she offers that and um, I loved it because it was an S and S is my name so I had to add it in here then on my list um, I ended up using a stamp that I got and I'll show you guys the stamp set let me move my things here because 
it's up here and I'm so glad that I got it. It is the cutest little thing. It comes in this box and I can link it below. So I'll go ahead and link this because it's so freaking cute. And I think it was only like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something like that. So it has all of the letters and then numbers with symbols. And I was obsessed. So they look like this. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. I used Tombow's which i feel like are clean so you know if i need to change the color i'll just use a baby wipe to clean those and it's just so adorable so that's what i ended up deciding to use as my header for my list previously i was using a medium moon man pen with like a sailor if you guys saw my last setup video of the weeks i think i want to say that i put it on youtube <laughs> if i'm not mistaken um when i d had the mega so i think i did do a setup for my mega um yeah so i have my sick log i have my gift ideas and the tombow that i used was um, it was this one the 969 it's like a dark a dark brown and it kind of like it looks really cool I really like how it came out so I have gift ideas I have planner wish list I have beauty wish list as you can see I tried to use the Tombow as like a sub word and I hated it I did like this with the medium again the medium twisting so that's what I ended up doing uh, then I have nail colors, fashion wish list. It's so crazy. I added the same ink that's in the medium in my fine. Is it in my fine? No. Where did I add it in? I can't remember what pen. Oh, yeah, it was in the medium fine, I think. Yeah, the medium fine sailor. And it looked like a complete different color. It was way lighter clearly than the wish list here like it was like two different inks it was so crazy how it changed you know from pen to pen I prefer this dark one but yeah so I just I just used it to write some stuff down and then I have here the adulting that you know everyone and their mom got the idea from Lindsay Scribbles so I have personal home and the car oil then I have this tip in. This washi is from High Paper Clouds. It's so beautiful. It's like a modern um, washi tape. It's so pretty. And then this tip in is a freebie that. Um, oh my God! What's her her thing? But someone sent it to me. They put it. They showed it, and they asked them where it was from, and they just sent me the file because I think the actual shop is no longer <clears throat> like on instagram or they don't have their link anymore then i went ahead and set up my january trackers which i should have waited but oh well because i ended up ordering the numbers from randy dots but i'm not sure how long her processing time is right now so that's oh well i ended up using the i actually ended up yeah using the uniball brown pen it's a 0.38 i used to use the uniball if you've stuck around my page and my um, videos for a while i love uniball 0.38 on hobonichi paper and i'm actually going to be doing a video of some pens that i would recommend for weeks so look out for that i'm going to be trying to get videos out you know more often um so that's what i I'm using for my trackers because it's small and with my writing I can write very small in there I forgot I wanted to hide my bills but whatever it is what it is um, this washi is from sweet freckled designs this little January one is from paper planning and then I just used a mid liner the brown one the darkest one for my highlight here and that's just some stuff that I'm tracking. Then I used, I think these were from my old um, 
book for you know cleaning marking off the months so I counted you know obviously to December on this page I have a sticky note of YouTube ideas I didn't want to make it like an actual page just because like once it's posted it's posted so I kind of like I don't know I might create the same thing on the page maybe but I don't completely like my writing if you and you know I say it often because I'm not a fond of my actual writing so I think there's a someone said they're gonna make a new they have a new shop soon and their idea is to make stickers for that so I'm hoping that they get to that soon and then it's just blank pages here that's all my list and then I have like a sticky note area back here with just various sticky notes and this one this dashboard here is from GG Plannery this is where I got I think the name one no I've had the name one for a while I think I ordered that with like dashboards for my personal planner or something I don't remember um, I've had that name one for a while <laughs> And then these two are freebies from Brown Plans, and I printed them on the post-it notes. And at this section, this little 365 checkoff sheet, I'm going to be doing a challenge, which I hope I stick to. It's 20 squats a day, which I hear, you know, just to keep your body moving, and if you sit a lot or whatever, it's good for you. Sorry, I took a sip of my matcha. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. I love working out, but I don't get to go to the gym as often as I would like, which would have been like three times a week and I go once. So, this is kind of me trying to just keep up with my body and my stamina. Um, then, at the back, I do have my check register, which I'm not going to share, but... The actual sheet is from Soli Paper. She created that insert for me and I just tip it in at the back, which is right here. So then my two things I have here is this freebie, Getting Things Done from Laura Jane Plans. And then my item store guide and my grocery guide, which I created on Canva. And at the back here, I just have this where I write my grocery list, my little sticker book that I created with a bunch of stickers. You guys have probably seen that a few times. And here is just my planner belongs to card from Queen City Designs. The pen that I am using at the moment is the Sailor, I think it's like a pro gear, it's like the moon sky i believe and it's a medium fine nib it's so pretty and in here i currently have the diametris diametris i think how you say it? uh the uh document archive and it's actually all of this pen here so i really like it and i like it in this nib size so that is my everyday carry. I'm going to charge my camera and I will be back. I tried to charge it for a little while and it wasn't enough. And I keep my planner in this little pouch from Superior Labor that I got with like a pen case a long time ago. So not a long time ago, but a few months back and I kept the bag and it fits perfect. So that's what I use to carry it in my purse and I'm gonna charge my camera for like another 20 minutes and I'll be okay I'm hoping I can get through the rest of this video rather quickly just because I feel like my weeks was like more of the actual like explaining what everything was so this is the black epoca Gilio. it is the personal size I forgot oh medium yeah 
and I really don't update a lot in here just because I literally just use this for budgeting. All these tabs are just in here to be in here. <laughs> um, and that's how it works for me. So this bookmark here is from Alo's Creative Corner, the little latte from Sweet Freckled Designs, and then this journaling card is from... I'm actually going to move latte here. Actually, I think I'm going to put her back over here. Uh, the card is from... What was her shop? It's, um... Oh my god, I can't remember Ashley's shop name. It's like planner or something. Oh, I don't know. If you want it, want me to search, I can look for it. Then here I have my dashboard uh, card slots per usual. The top one is from Mom Plans. This is from Gracie Edits. Hopefully you guys can see that. I, I know my camera angle isn't like shooting down i don't have those cool tripod things so oh shoot i was trying to move it to see yeah it's my camera's too heavy for my tripod so that's how it's gonna have to be <laughs> then i just created like a routines here card it's like a freebie one from puffin pages this is from Ash Plans. I just updated a little bit of the deco in here. Not much because, again, I don't really use this or flip through it often. This is another routine card that I made, a uh, dashboard I made on Canva with this task reminders. Then I have a dashboard for my minimal planner. This is a freebie from Reflective Paper. Another little routine card that I made on Canva with page flags and my label maker. A freebie from Maria Plans. This little small one in box is from Salty22. This sticker is from Kubo and Lucy. And on the back I printed a neutral planner dashboard. This was actually in my pocket plus and I just cut it I just repunched it to put it in here then I have another uh, pocket this one is from Cat's Espresso Co with some cards and this one is pretty much the same this one's from my minimal planner another Cat's Espresso like laminate with sticky notes that I don't even use they're just here which actually I should move these to my new, my, um, what is it? I'm gonna do that real quick because I am running low over here on those ones. And I don't have this color actually. I'm gonna put it right here. get to my Gracie Edits dividers. This is like her newest white la no it's not laminate, it's like plastic and I really really like it. This was my inbox when I was using this as my everyday carry and I just left it in here. And then I have notes, agenda which is where I just added the 2023 this butterfly I printed on acetate. It's a freebie from Maria Plans. This is the freebie from my minimal planner. That's literally all I added this year. <laughs> For the next year, I mean. Then this is just a little vellum from Sweet Purple Designs. And then I had a daily. These ones are so cool. They have the gold foil. If you guys want to order dividers from her, I do have that code. Then personal, and I just changed these cards a little bit. And then I had trackers, oops. And I'm actually probably going to, I have to update my app with my um, cycle. And then I had, let me see what I'm going to share. Info. I think I can flip to here. 
here. Um, I have lists, which I don't use here, but this dash is from Antisocial Plans. Then I have this Ruby from EO Edits with a My Minimal Planner at the back. This card is from Cloth and Paper. And I just had various lists if you guys want to see what I used to keep there that was in a previous video. Then I have here my finances tab which is literally the only tab I use in this planner. And I have my cash breakdown template um, post-its which is on um, my freebie link if you guys are interested in that. Then I mostly here use my budget tab and I'll show you guys a unfilled insert. Solely Paper made these for me. I fill out the month and then I put my bills. Then it has the quarters of my paycheck. So sometimes there's two or three because I get paid every two weeks. And then that helps to visually see how much is going in from each check. Then I do my cash envelopes. Oh, I added this one over here for my cash envelopes. Um, this is from Gracie Edits as well with a sticky note of what used to be my little key that I tried to make. And this is my budget sheet that I use for every paycheck. I do have this as a custom if anyone would be interested in it. It could come blank without, you know, all of it and then it would be per size that you use. So I do this every paycheck. I might share in a future video how I budget. I do have one video on it if you guys want to go back to it. Um, I'll go ahead and like share the card so you guys, if you guys might want to see that. But I think that's more of a stuffing, not really a budgeting, so I might share that. But then at the back it has the cash envelope breakdown just to help know, um, like for your cash sinking funds and such. A lot of this stays in the bank, so, you know, mostly it's my sinking funds and my uh, wallet that I will take cash out. So I fill this out here, and then when I know what my values and how many bills I need, I use the sticky note and take this to the bank. And that's seriously it. I did used to track like my PRs back here and passwords and stuff, but I kind of don't do that anymore. And I've kept everything pretty much the same, so I'm probably not going to share this again just because it's repetitive and... It cut me off um, but I was saying that it's repetitive and nothing is really gonna change in this planner that is what I use it for that's what works for me I don't see myself going back to this as an everyday carry and I just noticed that it has like gunk on here I don't know what that is um, but yeah so that is my I call it my budget binder I might add some inserts here just for like savings or finance related ones but I've tried and I don't really use them even for my sinking funds I kind of just go off of the actual envelopes instead of what's on paper because I forget to update them like I try to I don't have a lot of time to like write down when I'm stuffing I just want to like get it done with so <clears throat> that's what that's for and then I'll leave like my everyday carry here. Now, last but not least, I am going to be using a cousin this year, I believe. It's like probably, I think I was saying at the beginning, um, like 65% sure this is what I'm using um, as my memory keeper and journal. I added these little tabs, which I kind of did it backwards, like this side has the months on them, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it has like the months, and then the other side had the numbers, and I ended up doing the numbers at the front instead of the month, and I did add already my stickers, which is just 
a bunch of various stickers that I have. I just thought they were cute. Let me back you guys up a little bit so you can see more of the book. There we go. <clears throat> and yeah, so these are just from different shops. And then I might add, like I left in some extra spaces for if I wanted to add more. These are the tabs. I didn't even say where they were from. They're the RSL tabs. And I actually saw Julie's um, plans. She made a video the other day. I have to find... And she used like a page flag. I don't know where my page flags are. Oh, here they are. So she used like the Avery page flags for example, like the daily and whatever. This one doesn't have a daily, but I'm gonna use my bookmark. But I actually think I might want to use it for the yearly so that's what I'm gonna try to do just to have it here I don't think I'm gonna ever like use the daily I mean the yearly to be honest and the monthly I'm still not sure if it's something that I'm going to use so I'm putting the tab on a Avery bookmark and I think I'm going to cut it. <clears throat> so she had like the smaller ones, the smaller tabs and I don't have those so I'm just going to use the ones that I have because I wanted to see how it looked. I don't use these Avery ones like at all these little shiny ones and in the yearly I clearly as you can see don't have like anything I'm gonna put that like that oh that's cute with the little glitter sticks out I'm gonna do the same thing for the month so I was looking I don't know whose setup it was it was someone else and they covered this up with the holidays which is something that I wish I would have done before I put these drop stickers down because I think it would have looked nice having just that year and then seeing the oh my god you guys I ripped it I'm gonna have to put it in the bag um Oh my gosh, I was trying to move it because some of the clear showed through. Oh well, I guess that's good enough. Um, like it would have been nice to see just the year on this side and the holidays on this side just because I don't, I'm not, this isn't really like my everyday or like my planner. It is my everyday memory keeper. But like the future and the past years don't really aren't gonna be really referenced so this tracker my thoughts are gonna be to write my currently inked I believe that's what I'm gonna be using it for so I'm gonna put like the color of the ink and the pen just so that in the dailies I know kind of like what color I was used during those days and then I ended up like kind of copying the same month we lay out as my hobo weeks but now I'm not really sure this is what I'm gonna be doing I'm still kind of thinking if I'm gonna end up doing the weather or the moods I might do moods just to see an overview of it I think that would be kind of cool um, 
so I'd have to figure out how I'm gonna end up doing that just because these pages are so big like the squares compared to obviously the hobo weeks um, so I'd have to play around with that a little bit and see if that's gonna work out I'm gonna put this here on the month I think that's too high if you guys have any ideas on what to use the monthly for I don't want to be using it for appointments um, maybe holidays would be cool but there's not a holiday in every month so you know that well there kind of is but still it would only be one thing like I kind of want to make use of it so that's kind of where I'm at I just did this just to see how it would look but I I think this book is way too big for me to carry it on the go it's definitely heavier and I want to add like pictures and stuff in the dailies so that's kind of why this is literally just like my memory keeper slash journal and honestly that's all I've done I don't have much to show I did kind of do like a little bit of a mock not really a mock because this is like what I did I have to update my Friday um, and I don't know if this is what I'm going to use the weekly for either since I've never used this before. And like I said, I don't want it to be my, you know, everyday planner or anything like that. Like I want to keep my planning separate than my memory keeper just because I don't really want to rewrite things over and over. I don't know if anyone knows this, this body dog. I've had this since I was like seven, literally. Um, and it's so funny, sometimes I'll show people, like, I'll tell people about her, and they won't even know who she is. And it makes me sad because she was my favorite when I was little. It was so funny. I keep my page flags in here. <laughs> I just thought of that right now. Um, oh my god. So that's what I did right for this week and then I just added the oh my son just woke up hello the washi from sweet freckle designs and that's it that's all I have right now um I just moved this over this is a aloe's creative quarter book uh let creative corner aloe's creative corner bookmark and that's it I don't have absolutely nothing at all that's how I'm thinking of using it. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, baby. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. I wake up. You woke up. Yeah. I'm so happy Am you're here. sunny? No, it's raining outside. Yeah. yeah. it's really raining. Hey, tell me when you have to use the potty, okay? Yeah. In a little bit. Um, so, yeah, guys. That's it. Um, that's what I'm hoping to use it for. Um, my daily is going to have oh i'm actually going to be using these little cards that i bought i can link the shop if anyone wants to know where they're from i'm going to be adding that here in somewhere on the monthly page with like stickers and stuff obviously i haven't done that yet and then on the daily pages my hope is to do like maybe some emoji emoji stickers here some journaling and then just some you know some sentences about the kids and what we do in the day and um Butter. We'll see how it goes. I'm Jojo Butter Mama. Yeah. I did test an A6 and it was just too small um, for me wanting to do. Yeah, Jojo Brother. For me wanting to do both things, my journal and my memory keeping. This year I used a standard TN, which I did like, but I couldn't find any. I didn't like journaling in that size. And I didn't want to be carrying three books if needed to work. But I did still have the 2022 um, 
like inserts if I decide to go that route but I'm hoping I don't have to and I can keep everything in one book I just like having it all in one book instead of you know multiple places so yeah that's what um, I'm planning to do and I'd love to know what you guys are using I'd love to know you know what worked for you or what you're trying out and um, that's the end that is it I hope you all have a good new year I wish you tons of success and happiness and the best for all of you so that is it and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye